Welcome to another Monday Music Minute. I'm Eric Gill with the County's Communications Division. I'm Mark Fried with the St. Lucie County Library System. And each week we come on here, we tell you our favorite musical finds on Freegal, which is a free service that allows you to stream and download music. All you need is a St. Lucie County Library card, which is free. Free. Now, in case you missed it, I'll say it again. You can never have enough Dylan covers. Say it again. You can never have enough Bob Dylan covers, which is why I'm recommending the 2007 soundtrack to the Dylan biopic, I'm Not There. This 37 song double album is way better than the movie was, with standout cuts like Cat, like Cat Power performing Stuck Inside a Mobile with the Memphis Blues again, Karen O's quirky Highway 61 revisited, Jeff Tweedy's heartbreaking Simple Twist of Fate, and Charlotte Ginsburg's and Klaxco's Velvety Underground sounding version of Just Like a Woman. There are also excellent performances by Jack Johnson, Willie Nelson, Sonic Youth, Jim James, and more. 1994, a Detroit-based band called Sponge released their debut album, Rotting Pinata. This gold record had two big radio airplay hits, uh, the hard-driving, fuzzy guitar song, Plowed, which was often compared to Stone Temple Pilots and Pearl Jam, and then Molly's 16 Candles, which had a catchy hook and strong guitar. They played on uh, late-night TV shows, including Jon Stewart, Letterman, and Conan, and toured relentlessly. Their second effort, Wax Ecstatic, also went gold with a more of a jingly rock anthem feel to it. Um, the hits Have You Seen Mary and Wax Ecstatic were songs that got the biggest airplay. Once the album left the charts, however, the band lost their contract with Columbia Records. The band continued to carry on with a few more releases, most recently 2019's Demoed in Detroit, a collection of never-before-released studio recordings that were put down during uh, the Wax Ecstatic period. Freegal has most of the recordings, including Pinata, Wax, and Demo. Um, definitely is a band in the moment, well worth a listen, and it'll give you a little flashback in time to the 90s. I miss John Stewart. Yes, that was a great show. That does it for this week's Monday Music Minute. See you next Monday.